Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase Hot Wheels today, but the big rigs, the big, heavy, heavy models from Hot Wheels. They are here. We have got the brand new RLC Redline Club Thunder Roller, which hits the RLC tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific. Mattel sent me this truck to showcase for you. And I was excited to showcase this one because it always is cool to kind of do something a little different when it comes to showcasing the Hot Wheels. I've got these out because this is the next showcase I'm going to film. We're so used to this kind of stuff, right? The Hot Wheels cars, which are super, super cool. It's why we collect. But there's a very small sliver of these things, the big cabs, Thunder Roller being one of them. I brought out a few of them from this more modern era from the last few years, the last decade or so, um, that I wanted to showcase for you and then we're gonna take a look at this fantastic new model that goes on sale tomorrow. So let's get started. Like I said, these are highlighted by either three axles or just weight for that matter. These are heavy, heavy models for the most part. And I think it's interesting. I could do a whole feature on uh, the trucks and the haulers if I just brought out all the team transport stuff. There's a bunch of castings that have come from there and that's worth featuring. I'm obviously a feature when I do it, the team transfer, but these are a little different. These are just the cabs. Some of them are, are, have a little bit of history. You know, they've been around for a long time, but let's get right to it. I don't really have these in any particular order. We'll finish with the Thunder Roller, obviously, but we're gonna start with this thing. Now this one isn't as heavy as some of the others, and it's probably a little different because it is, um, you know, it's a tow truck. And I thought, well, do I do this one or not? It is the Steam punk truck. This one actually designed by Larry Wood post-retirement. This one was done for uh, a dinner in his honor um, at the Hot Wheels convention. I can't remember what year it was. Uh, maybe 2018. And we saw this three axle um, has the pivoting tow. Uh, this three axle uh, uh, tow truck from Larry Wood, which is very much his style, a kind of classic style. So this was the uh, convention and then we did see it in RLC and that's all we've seen. We've only seen the two versions. I actually like the RLC and the Spectre Flame olive color just a little bit better. And I like those five-spoke real riders that make it look real, real mean. But it's a really, really cool model. So that is one that I thought, you know, I debated. I feel like it needs to be included. It's not necessarily a cab, per se, like these others. But uh, this one is. This is the only example I have of, what's this one called? The Long Gone. See, it's funny. I have to remember what some of these names are. Um... Some of them aren't necessarily licensed, but I don't always think that they need to be. Uh, but this one is cool. This was a mail-in version. There's been some in, I mean, it's been in, I think it's been in the RLC. I think it's been a convention model. But the only thing that I have is this, uh, this mail-in version. So that's one, and this one has a decent amount of weight. And then the other one is unlicensed, but not three axles, but it is big, and it is a cab, and it is the Convoy Custom. I always get it mixed up, yeah. There it is right there. Convoy Custom as opposed to Custom Convoy. And obviously this one has a little bit, I wouldn't call it a tuned look, but notice it has the very, very short windshield, even no windows. It's done up as like a race truck. Um, no, it doesn't have the double axle in the back. It only has two axles in general. And then it has the exposed engine. It's a cool, cool model. It's never been totally my style. This is convention version. I have a couple of them, but I just pulled out this one um, from the 35th, 31st convention. Now, those are decent. These are the ones I love. And this one might be, of the big rigs, my favorite. In fact, this is one, the Kenworth, that I would love to see get RLC treatment, just like the Thunder Roller has. We'll get into that history in a second. But if you look at this one, first off, it's massive. Second, look at how cool those wheels are, three axles. It looks like they built it so you could put, uh, potentially, um, a trailer on it. I have no idea if they'd ever design it, but how cool would that be for RLC to get a truck and a trailer? Uh, I feel like they should do it. But this one is more stock and it's kind of classic. This one came from, um, by the way, it is the Kenworth, what is it, W900. And this one came from um, Entertainment. And I can't remember what the theme was for this one, but um, you guys will tell me, obviously, in the comments very quickly, and you should because I forgot, but this one is really, really cool. It's, it's a little more difficult to get now because it's been a few years since it came out. But this one, I would love to see get more of the premium RLC car culture. In fact, wouldn't that be cool to do a big rigs car culture? I mean, it would pull the peg right off the wall if you put a whole um, set of those up there, uh, but, because they're heavy. 
Uh, but uh, that would be really cool. And I've always been pining for that one. And hopefully Hot Wheels one day will do it. I know they'll say it's too expensive. But you know what? Do it anyway. I know that's a terrible reasoning. All right. Speaking of entertainment, let's get to the Thunder Roller. I have, this will be my fourth, this RLC version that's coming out tomorrow. Um, so let's start with this one that was, I think, Smokey and the Bandit and uh, in Hot Wheels Entertainment. Hot Wheels Entertainment has changed a little bit. This was more like movie and TV shows back when it first came out, and this one is perfect for that. Bringing out the Thunder Roller. I mean, obviously, they've done it in premium before. They can do it again. And uh, I really, really dig this one. So you can see it has the three axles. It doesn't necessarily have the ability to carry a, a cab. They'd have to modify the casting. But the big smokestacks, everything about it, the big exhausts on the side. Everything is cool about this one. It's got that full detailing. And this is by far the heaviest of the, uh, of the trucks. And so this, I would have to think, and some of you old school who've been, uh, collectors who have collected for a while could tell me, is this the heaviest Hot Wheels casting outside of some of the, the haulers from Team Transport? I think this may be. Because it's got the, cha the metal chassis and the metal body. Just a heavy, heavy model. So that is one from Entertainment. This is another one. Not really digging the rims on this one, but it's another convention model. Keep on collecting, it says. It's got the uh, kind of USA theme to it. It's okay. Wish the wheels were a little bit different. I'd love to see some, some variety in wheels on these, but uh, this is from the 30th convention, and I think this is cool. But I think the one to have, and I can't even think that the purple one, we'll have to open it and see if it beats it, but have to go with this RLC. Real Riders in Gold. Redline Real Rider tires, the gold body, which is fantastic, gold Spectre Flame. Back off detailing, all the detailing on the back. This thing is super, super cool. And like I said, it's got the mirrored chrome base. Everything about this one makes it, uh, I think, one of the coolest RLC models. Kind of underrated, but I always love bringing this thing out because of its weight, because of its looking gold. It just really, really stands out. And now we have this one. It is a Thunder Roller. Let's get rid of this protective. Let's look at it now in the packaging. I know a lot of you will keep it in the packaging, so I'll show you what that looks like. Let's see how many are made. 20,000, which is a pretty standard number. That means this one will go. It'll probably go fairly quickly, but uh, I know it's not, you know, the 510 or something like that, so it may not go as quick. Let's... Uh, you can freeze the screen and read this. Designed by Hot Wheels designer Larry Wood in 1983. That's right, the Thunder Roller was a basic model at one point. It's obviously moved its way into premium. There we go, we got our answer. Thunder Roller is the third heaviest Hot Wheels casting in history. An impressive number considering the thousands created. Oh, this is cool. See, now we're learning. We asked how where this one is, now we know it's the third. I wonder what the top two are. You guys will have to tell me in the comments what is heavier than the Thunder Roller because it is heavy. All right, there's the art. Looks fantastic. My job is to open them, so let's do it. Always a little nerve-wracking, but always fun to open it up. There's that back piece. Oh, okay. Get rid of this plastic, and now you go, I get it. Now, because of the outdoor shadows here, maybe we don't get a total sense of how much that purple specter flame pops, but the minute I took it out... That looks amazing. Similar, similar styling to the front, but that's because it is that old school style cab. And wow, does that look cool. That is... Yeah, maybe it does rival the gold because that Spectre Flame. They've done such a good job with the Spectre Flame pop, uh, paint and that thing just totally pops. Well, you guys tell me. You going for it tomorrow? It is for sale, 20000 It will sell out, but if you're an RLC member, I think you got a decent chance of getting one. I think it looks great, and you can tell me too, gold or purple. I think those are your, I think those are your, uh, that's your cream of the crop right there. But you guys tell me what you think. Good luck tomorrow. Let me know if you got it. I'll obviously ask on, the, uh, on Instagram. More to come. Thanks, everybody. Bye.